Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to this Next.js and Trapi tutorial series. So far we have been doing everything in the local host, meaning the Strapi server is deployed locally and the um, Next.js application that consumes data from the Strapi uh, CMS uh, is also deployed locally. Now, uh, obviously our application won't live locally, uh, neither the, uh, the, the CMS uh, itself or the Next.js application consuming the data from it. So we need to deploy the application uh, to the cloud, both applications, okay? So in this video, our attention is going to be focused on uh, deploying the server. And um, here, if you look at the Strapi uh, documentation, you see in the deployment section and, and the hosting providers that uh, Strapi integrates uh, nicely with in order to, to do the deployment, you have the various options here. Um, all of them are, are, are great options, but in this video, uh, I would like to cover uh, what I think is the simplest one. Uh, is deployed to render. Heroku uh, is also a great option, uh, very simple, but it will require you to, Heroku doesn't allow you to deploy um, the application uh, uh, by using, uh, while using SQLite uh, as, uh, as your database engine whereas render allows that. So in this video, we're gonna see how to deploy to render, okay? Uh, we're gonna see how to deploy the application to render, uh, which is a great um, deployment service. If you go to render.com, you'll find them. Okay, so th this is the documentation for, for allowing, for, 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 for doing that. And before you ask, render can deploy, we can deploy both the Postgres, um, uh, we can use render to deploy while using Postgres as our database or a SQLite. And this is for the database. Now for the images, as you can see here, like basically there are three modes of deployment as the documentation says. You can use SQLite as your backend, uh, as your database layer. And when you do that, um, the only option you have for images for storing assets is the uh, hard drive as well. Now you can use uh, Postgres, um, which is the only option. Um, um, and I mean, I, I need to say that it, Heroku doesn't allow you SQLite, okay? So it allows you Postgres, among other things. Now, uh, Render allows Postgres and, 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 and uh, SQLite. And in the case of Postgres, you can use the Manage Postgres service, um, 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 that uh, they offer, okay, alongside images that you ha host at Cloudinary, or you have a third option, you can use a managed Postgres service and images uploaded on the, on the hard drive as well, right? So um, in this video, this is what we're gonna look at, how to deploy the, uh, her, the um, um, Strapi CMS server using SQLite and uh, the, the hard drive and uh, via um, render.io. Okay, so this is the documentation as it is on the Strapi website. You have a very similar one on uh, the render website itself. They they have a, a, a good guide on how to do that. Um, and you also even have for each of these um, a, 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 a code, a repository, Okay, on GitHub, open source that you can just quickly look at and see how things are done. Um, so, all right, now let's get into the business. When you look at this here, um, when we look at um, the files here, okay, you will see that uh, we did that already. Let me go to the um, to the uh, deployed version, sorry, to the to the Git uh, diff here, you can see that we already added. It's very simple to do. Basically, the process is you go and get inside your code uh, for the, not the Next.js application, but the, let me close all of these so we're not confused, close all. Okay, so this is, remember, this is the Strapi um, CMS server. Okay, so this is not the Next.js application. The Next.js application is completely different. It's something else, okay? This is Next.js application. It's the Strapi CMS server. Okay, so what you want to do here is very simple. You want to create a file called render.eml, 
okay which i already have here all right you create that file and what you do you go in this strapi uh, or render dot render dot com and you click on this repo that it gives you here okay and you copy the content of this file right you copy this like this okay make sure you change to uh, ad adapt to the um version of um, um node that you want to use okay so in my case i added 16.15.0 okay and that's the only thing that you may want to change um, uh, everything else um, i think you should just leave it like this and that's it right so that's the first file you 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 create so you can do touch.yaml and render.yaml sorry touch render.yaml you create this file and then the other file that you need to create is this file within this config.m.production.server.js okay you need to create this other file and you can see that also um in our git history here so like this and the content for that you can either copy either of these you can copy in the um, repository of this uh, tutorial which you'll find the link in the uh, description or you can go straight to the uh, um, uh, render examples repo here um, and if i go back like this config and then f.production and then server.js you copy exactly like it is all right you add it here like this okay it's exactly the same and you're good to go really now what you want to do is to commit this to your git history okay so i've already done that Git log you see add changes to deploy to render these are the changes basically and once you're done with that once you're done with that you now come to your render dot dashboard okay obviously i've i already have an account with them so um that i created this morning um and just to show you this is how it looks when it's deployed um i'm going to delete this and recreate this but once it's deployed that's how it looks you can now log in uh, like this i can go to my strapi uh, uh, account i can log in very quickly into geo at gmail.com i'm going to show you my password remember me and you see that everything is, is, is perfectly um, all your content type your content uh, type builder everything is there already right when, once you deploy it but how do you deploy it well let's see let's see how to do that so in order to do that i'm gonna i'm gonna delete this application that we just created okay i'm gonna delete this one uh, settings danger zone delete um yeah let me maybe let me suspend it okay so that uh, it does okay this is suspended okay so i'm going to create one just for the sake of this tutorial well the way you do that you come to blueprint okay you come to blueprint and once you do it for the first time you will be prompted um something else here to um connect your um, GitHub account to your render okay so in this case i've already done that i'm already connected to um I already have all the repos that are connected to my GitHub account here loaded in uh, render. So I'm going to choose Shopee server, which is the one that I'm interested in. Okay. And the branch that you want to deploy on. Okay. So I'm going to call server name. Okay. Let's call this uh, uh, Shopee servers V2 created one. I mean, this is just for you to remember what it is. Uh, or live, I'm going to call it live. So I'm going to delete this afterwards. What the branch you want to do? What's which branch do you want to trigger the deployment on? And basically, this should be the branch that you have in your YAML, right? So we have it here. Uh, I think we have it somewhere here that we want to deploy on main. Uh, I think by default it's main, okay? And if you don't change it, uh, with the, yeah, like, I think yeah this, this is the branch that you have but i think you can also configure that here um but i think if you leave it if you leave everything as is it should it should work but can, otherwise you can select the branch here that is going to be deployed i'm not sure actually maybe i'm wrong on that you, you cannot configure that in the render.yaml you have to select it here i think i think that's the case okay so now once you have that so the, the process is simple you come to blueprint okay uh 
Oops. All right. So we go Sharpie server. So let's 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 do that again. Very simple. New and then blueprint. Okay. You select Sharpie server and then you give a name. All all uh, Sharpie servers live. All right. And then make sure that you select you select the right branch here. And uh, yeah, you click on create new resources. All right, and then it's gonna start deploying. All right, then apply. Everything should be good. And then it's gonna start building the the um, the server for you. Okay, so this is it here, like this. Okay, and it's gonna deploy the server. Um, obviously uh, you can change the region um, at, at any stage um, so while this is happening um, I just want to show you some changes that you have to make to your environment variables because remember in the code now we have to switch back to the original repo uh, sorry not the original but the repo for the um, front-end version okay so originally our repo looked like this okay so we had only the environment variables for local host which are here obviously like we have the contentful uh, environment variables here so in this example these are the contentful contentful cms uh, envas okay and then below that we have the strapy cms enva well the key doesn't change oh, sorry the, the key sorry the, the key is um um Whatever you have when you create the um, one, one, once the application is live, still this is still building. It's not yet completed, so it's not it's not yet built, right? That's why it's still uh, it, it shows that. But basically, the key is the Strapi API key token that you create in the Strapi backend. Okay. Now the things that you have to change a little bit. Um, for example, in localhost, the base URL will be this. You have to add the. You need to add the port, but when you're using the version of the deployed version, you don't need any port, right? The uh, the, the the URL is, is 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 perfectly fine, and also for the Strapi base URL, uh, for the API, this is the assets base URL. Okay, now the API, you just add the slash dot API, slash API to that. Okay. And then for um, the Strapi images domain, well, you just take this this one here and you add that as uh, the Strapi images domain. This is useful for next year to know which domain the images are coming from. Okay, so that's it really. Uh, and once you do that, the um, the application is going to be deployed. Uh, once this is completed, this is going to be uh, this going to give you a nice contain uh, sorry strappy cms application server here that you can use from your um, next year's application uh, to consume the data okay um, and that's basically it right i won't bore you um, uh, waiting for it to be completed here i think this should this should be this should work exactly the same for you in your case so one thing that i would do is um, launch the app first of all i'm gonna um bring this back to life okay i'm gonna resume the service all right so that uh, we are able to connect to it when i deploy this guy here so npm run dev okay Very good so now with those changes to our environment variables so we've removed everything that was localhost and we use the render version okay obviously you have to do that in m.local and not m.local example this is just a template for you to use okay once you have that okay we can now go and launch our app we should be able to consume the data perfectly fine and something axios okay the service is still booting i think i think the service is still booting that's why it's failing here because the error here, the error message is that Axios request failed, right? So, uh, and I think it's, it's slow like this because I'm in the free plan of uh, render. So the service for the service to be reinitiated uh, to the point where it's live again will take some time, right? Um, but basically once it's live again, um, you should have no issues, 
right? The, the two apps are actually being deployed at the same time now, right? So the two apps are still in, in, in process of being deployed. I think I'll wrap it up here. Uh, this is how you deploy the app to render um, using SQLite as the backend, uh, the database layer, and deploying the images as well to um, the hard drive. Um, Thank you for very much for watching. I'm gonna in the next video we're gonna see how to do the same thing uh, using Postgres. Okay, so we're gonna deploy the application. Uh, the next sorry, the Sharpie CMS server um, in Heroku using Postgres. So we're gonna follow this roadmap here in the next video. I'll see you there. Ciao.